Kamichiwa with Dishino, Powerhouse Shishenki. Hello, I'm Powerhouse Official, and welcome to yet another update regarding the rebranding and the re-establishing of this channel. Not rebranding, that's not the proper word, just the re-establishment of the foundation of this channel. Um, as I look more through my um, communications with Google and YouTube and stuff, and from other YouTube creators such as Demon Dice, uh, music, uh, just doesn't work for me here. And, uh, <laughs> this might be a little bit, um, sudden, but let me explain why YouTube is not working for me when it comes to music stuff. Um, I posted stuff, uh, unreleased music here. And I've re-uploaded a bunch of my CDs into high-resolution audio. And due to the nature of YouTube's algorithm system, it doesn't really listen for how the song sounds. It just listens for, like, similar beats. Um, so for, like, for example, for the unreleased music, um, it'll listen to the first, like, let's say 10 seconds. I don't know what, how exactly it works. Um, I'm not YouTube, obviously. Um, I'm just a YouTuber using the platform of YouTube. Um, but long story short, let's say it's listens to the first 10 seconds. And if the beat sounds similar to a currently copyrighted song, it's going to flag that with that copyright song, regardless of the entire song's mix or not. Um, so and then there's that. And then there's stuff that I've tried to do, but the videos couldn't even get out to you guys because it just got striked hard and it got taken down as a result. Um, I tried make, uh, uploading a video, or I, a good example is actually you know, the, the Mori Calliope album that I uh, uploaded. Despite me shouting out everywhere you could buy the album, which did work, by the way, for about a week, and then it started picking up views, by the way, thanks. Um, I've tried so many things with music, specifically for the channel, not just original stuff made by me um, and my band. But, um, also, like, remixes, um, uploads of high-resolution audio, it all has kind of backfired on me, all these experiments. Um, and I did these experiments to test to see where the YouTube algorithm is, how it thinks. So, as far as I know, if I want to do what I want to do with my music, is not only release, um, my music in a way that I don't have to fear copyright, um... I need to move all my stuff to another platform. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you might be aware that I have a Vimeo page. Um, it currently hosts a bunch of deleted videos. But, here's the interesting thing. It currently hosts a bunch of deleted music videos that just got copyright striked and taken down. I got copyright striked, and I started moving all my music content there, and then I kind of like backtracked on the I'm like, I'm going to test something. And I have been testing this. Uh, I have been testing this, as I mentioned, with the, the, the full album re-upload, which got copyright strike a week after. It was a manual copyright strike by Calliope herself. Fair enough, Cali. I see you. I was testing the algorithm. I see it was a manual takedown, and I respect that. Um, but, uh, I'm going to re-upload it again. Sorry. <laughs> um, because... I really worked hard to remaster each individual track. Um, it kind of sucks uh, having it copyright strike because it, it, it doesn't get really pushed in the algorithm. Uh, so, yeah, that will just carry over to the Vimeo. And what, how, how well I convince you to go make a Vimeo account? Two things. Vimeo is actually older than YouTube, believe it or not. I believe. I hope I'm right. That'd be awkward if I'm wrong. I believe it is older than YouTube by, like, a year. Um, two, it's completely free. Yeah, it's completely free. Um, it's a, it's, it's a platform specifically made for more professional videos, which is exciting for me because I consider my, uh, music very professional. Whether it be bootleg recordings, um, in, in the case of the, the Muno Hashanova recordings, um, and all this content will just be downloaded from this YouTube channel and moved over there. So it's going to be exciting uh, time for people that follow me on my Vimeo because not only will they get to see the older content that is no longer available on my YouTube, but they also get to ex exclusively experience the next chapter, the next 
EP that I drop. It all will be put there. All my original stuff is going there, and a bunch of exclusive stuff that would never work on YouTube. It's so, so exciting to be able to do more with music. I love music, but something I wanted to do, by the way, Andrew, if you end up seeing this video, I know you subscribe to me, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> if you still have my mixtapes, I want to you to send them to me. Can, can you figure out a way to send it to me? You know where I live. Um, or you could just reach out to me on Instagram, Twitter, wherever. But if you see this video, I want you to send me my mixtapes. Because those are part of my music history and I would like to back those up. Um, yeah, I started making mix cassettes when I was like 10. Um, so that's how I got started. I made mixtapes and then eventually mixed CDs. Um, I would give them to my friends. Uh, Andrew actually has the majority of my early stuff. Um, I'm very curious to see how far I've come in the aspect of mega mixes, um, essentially. Um, but that sort of content due to the mixtape having copyrighted material on it, which never work here. And on top of that, going on the mega mix idea, I have this Hazinu Miku mega mix that I'm really, really proud of. It's like one hour. It's a big boy. Um, it's one hour of just complete Miku bliss. And, that would just never fly here on YouTube. So there's like gonna be exclusive shit there, guys. Like, if you love music, go follow my Vimeo. Right now, it's known as Powerhouses Deleted Treasures, but that will be changing very, very shortly. Over the next week, you will see it be rebranded as James Powerhouse Asselstein. Powerhouse because branding. <laughs> Um, but yeah, James Powerhouse Assistine has been my professional name for quite a while. I actually just sent out a tweet today saying all my music related promotion will be pushed to a different Twitter. So by the way, uh, if you want to be constantly updated going forward as of today, um, as of the filming of this video being uh, February 20th, 2022, going forward, I will no longer be tweeting about my music on my Powerhouse account. So my PH underscore 96. Yeah, PH 90, uh, underscore 96. Wait. PH 96. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm dumb. It's PH un, uh, 96 underscore official. <laughs> I will no longer be posting my music uh, related content there. Um, because I really want to push that secondary Twitter account and I really want to push my Vimeo account. Um, that is the end goal for this whole scenario is it gives me more. Now, how about the deleted content doesn't really fall into the category of music? Here's an interesting thing. I have an archive.org page. So he here's the idea. I'm going to put the content that currently does not fit because of copyright on my YouTube channel. So this will be stuff like um, that Men at Work video that I did back in high school for a video project. Um, and stuff like my Musical.ly compilations. And uh, things off my Vimeo that are, are, are like my um, Sailor Moon fan cut. Um, so that will be all moved to my archive.org page. But again, if you want to, you can book my uh, bookmark my archive.org page. Because I'll upload stuff like... Prototype ROMs that have been taken down by Nintendo, because fuck you, Nintendo. Um, preservation matters, motherfuckers. Um, and I, I like archiving stuff that is very obscure, but is necessary for for things to work. Um, so if, if you want more exclusive content, make it an archive.org page and follow your boy. Um because stuff will be uploaded there too. Um, it just allows me to do more to just make YouTube content. This is what this whole change is about. So not only will the YouTube content be all in their own categories, in their own playlist, um, but they will also be other platforms that I could do more on and upload more, give you guys more content, because content is king, baby. Um, and that's what this is all about. Content. More content for you. More ways I can actually be creative. <laughs> so if you want to support me, please go follow my Vimeo page and archive.org page. Both will be linked down in the description. Or if I forget to link them there, you can find them in my About tab 
in my link tree. So until next time, this is Powerhouse reminding you, we might be in 2022, and unless you've been vaccinated, wear your fucking mask. And if you can, and are willing, go get vaccinated. Make that decision for yourself. Don't let your parents tell you yes or no. You are an, a, a, a human being. You're entitled to your own opinion. Go get vaccinated. And if you refuse to get vaccinated, do us all a favor by wearing your fucking mask. Until next time, this is Powerhouse signing out.